Today we're looking at Metal Hellsinger. Doom reinvented the shooter genre back in 2016 with a huge emphasis on movement, shooting, and a phenomenal soundtrack to boost you into action. The same can be said for Doom Eternal, which further pushed the quality of the same gameplay to unforeseen heights. The one thing that stood out most in those games, however, was the blood pumping music. The soundtrack was so phenomenal that it made you want to destroy everything in front of you. And that's the entirety of your goal. The Doom franchise heavily inspired the FPS games that came afterwards. Bullets Per Minute, Ultra Kill, Rage 2, Severed Steel, Postal, Brain Damaged, and of course, The Outsiders, Metal Hellsinger. I think that now it's safe to say that the rhythm shooter genre is officially back. And that too, in full action, especially with the release of Metal Hellsinger, a groundbreaking game in the genre. Metal Hell Singer is a rhythm game designed with heart, soul, and a lot of passion and determination for fans of heavy metal and shooters. Let's talk about why this game is such a unique and endearing entry to the modern FPS scene. The story of Metal Hell Singer is one infused by vengeance and a vengeance so full of anarchy that we dive into the depths of hell just to have it. We play as the unknown, who is part human, part demon, and to be fully obsessed with their vengeance. As the unknown, we fight through the fiercest domains of hell, shooting through the hordes of demons and their ferocious leaders, just to pull ourselves out of the pits for a legendary duel against the Red Judge. Troy Baker, award-winning actor and a titan of the gaming industry, fully narrates this epic campaign in its entirety. The game is set into many different stages, and through each stage you will level up, become better and more efficient along with faster and deadlier. Now, with your arsenal in your hands, you must climb through the leaderboards, unlock unique challenges, and defeat the realms of torment. As for the gameplay as mentioned before, Metal Hellsinger is a rhythm-based shooter in which you must shoot or shred your way through a variety of levels to music from icons in the metal music scene. Keep in mind that this is a rhythm shooter. Maintaining the timing of your actions in coordination with the beats, riffs, and solos will enhance both your damage and your score for adversaries that you vanquish. As you progress, you'll be able to access new weapons and perks that will either make you stronger or prevent your multiplier from decreasing. The end game, which can be completed quickly, is completing the last challenges in order to increase your perks and surpass the high score. Through each level of hell, or simply in each level, a different song will shred in the background, and they often differ in rhythm so you could just get some curveballs thrown at you every once in a while. Unfortunately, there aren't many different enemies here, which I find a bit of a shame honestly but it isn't too much of a drawback. They could have had more focus on enemy variety, but the emphasis was mainly on the music and the weapon design as well as the bosses. The one thing that I didn't appreciate much about the game was the player character hitbox. At times, I would visibly dodge an attack but to no avail. I would still get hit. There's also the problem of UX, where you often can't tell which directions you were hit. Although you're moving so much and looking at so many things that it's clear to tell where the danger is. The focus of the game is clearly on the songs, which were written, performed, and produced especially for Metal Hellsinger. I'll say it quite clearly, these are the real bangers. I think the most common reason I died is that I got way too carried away with the songs and didn't keep an eye on the actual action at all. I was headbanging, man. Can you blame me? Though I must say, that was an easy win for me, because that just gave me another reason to listen to the song after resetting on a checkpoint. I used mouse and keyboard here, as you usually should for most shooters. The controls are very easy to grasp, and I quickly got the hang of things. Most of the time you spend on movement, shooting, dashing, jumping, quick aiming and turning, it's all part of the experience. You also get a wide variety of weapons at your disposal, from the beautifully haunting skull clad blade, or the skull that shoots projectiles. The shotgun, the crossbows, the revolver, and a much larger cast of murderous guns. The weapons even have their own ultimate abilities, which can be charged up and used to give you an added boost in combat. I like to emphasize again at this point that the focus here is entirely on the music. The developers have hired some legends from the metal scene, such as Alyssa Whitegloves, Randy Blythe, Serge Tankian, Matt Heafy, and even more top vocalists who ended up composing some phenomenal tracks for the game, in harmony with the songs, but also the explosive rattle of gunpowder you can truly feel like you have firepower to destroy hell itself. The game is fast paced and it hardly ever lets you stand still and soak in the scenery. Who cares anyways? That means you probably won't be able to take in much of the surroundings, if you don't take out time to see them for yourself of course. Metal Hellsinger looks really great as a whole though. 
you'll find yourself in various stages of the Realms of Torment, which were designed quite elaborately with great detail and graphical fidelity. Sure, we are in Hell, so the dominant color is probably red, but there's also gray, white, and even a lot of green which can often be found. The detail isn't only noticeable in the environment, oh no. It's also extremely visible in the enemy design from grunts, brutes, and all forms of demonic entities. You've got a powerful art style carrying the game. The Unknown's weapons are also amazingly designed, with great reload animations and fantastic shooting mechanics, all animated with great attention to detail. Moreover, the optimization is brilliant. The game hardly ever stuttered on my 360 Ti, with the graphics cranked up to maximum settings. My card looked like it didn't even break a sweat, but I did when I was headbanging. In conclusion, Metal Hellsinger is a very exclusive game. It's made for the metalheads that specifically enjoy shooters and like to test the limit of their aiming abilities. Of course, there's also the issue of enemy variety, which can be tantalizing for many players. However, there is so much more here than meets the eye. The simple pleasure of headbanging to the right music while cutting through a large demon horde to set a new high score on the leaderboard is a satisfaction unlike any other. Metal Hellsinger is a perfect game to get you into a whole new category of games if you've ever been a fan of shooters, and that's something truly remarkable. I definitely recommend it if it's something you're interested in. As always, if you enjoyed the video, please consider subscribing and liking the video. We love you, and have a wonderful day.